Today we are going to perform the experiment to find out the refractive index of the prism. For this our apparatus is a lamp, sodium lamp, this is our spectrometer and this is a prism. The experiment will be performed in two parts. In first part we will be finding out the angle of the prism. In second part we will be finding out this angle of deviation of the prism. Now let us move towards the theory part. When a beam of light strikes on surface of transparent material, the portion of light is transmitted and the other portion is reflected. The transmitted light ray has small deviation of path from the incident angle. This is called refraction. Refraction is due to the change in speed of light while passing through the medium. It is given by Snell's law. Snell's law is sin I1 by sin R1 equal to N2 by N1. Here, I is the angle of incident, R is the angle of refraction, N1 is the refractive index of the first medium and N2 is the refractive index of the second medium. In our case, first medium is air because we have placed our prism in air and the second medium is our prism that is glass. When a, when a ray of light passes through a prism, it suffers refraction. Here we have the diagram. Here, Delta is the angle of deviation. A, the angle between B, A, C. This angle is the angle of prism. And we know the angle P, B, R is twice of angle of prism. So basically, we will be finding out angle P, M, R to find out the angle of prism. The, the formula we will be using at end will be N equal to sine delta m plus a divided by 2 divided by sin a by 2 where n is our refractive index delta m is the angle of deviation for the prism a is angle of prism here delta m we write m because the, it is the angle of minimum deviation this is the prism we will be using here as you can see this is the transparent side this is the transparent side see it clearly and here, third side is our opaque side of the prism. This is our spectrometer. Here, we have the collimator from which the beam of light enters. This is our stand where we will be keeping our prism. This is the eyepiece through which we will be observing our slit. So, we have to adjust this to get a perfect slit when we will be observing our slit from the eyepiece. In the spectrometer, we have two scales. So we can label it as 1 and 2 or left and right scales. Here the upper scale is the vernier scale and the lower scale is the main scale. In our spectrometer there is a small slit which we have opened. Through that the light is entering here and we will be observing the small slit from our eyepiece. We haven't placed our prism yet. So, we will be observing the direct beam from here. So, we will be able to see a slit. We have to adjust it from here till we see a very fine thin slit. For the first part of experiment, we will be placing the prism at center of our table, this rotating table of spectrometer. Here we can see the two transparent faces are kept this way and the opaque side is towards the observer. So, the light will fall on the two surfaces which are transparent and it will get reflected. As this figure explains, the light from the collimator is falling on the transparent part. So, what will happen? It will get reflected in this way and similarly it will fall on the second face and will get reflected on the other side. When we retrace the path, this angle will be noted down and hence as a result, we will get the angle of the prism, A. As explained, for the first part, we have placed the prism in this position where opaque part is towards the observer. Now, we will start moving the in one side of the spectrometer and start observing the slit. Now, as we move the spectrometer to the left side of the table, 
we have to stop at a point where the slit is observable very clear as you can see the slit it's is at cross wire of the eyepiece so at this adjustment we will be taking the reading of our main scale and vernier scale at left side now for taking the readings of main scale we will be checking the reading of the main scale which coincides with the zero of vernier scale so here we can see it is 200 and if we go backwards it's nearly 198.5 for the vernier scale reading we will be taking the reading which coincides best with the main scale reading so i think here 20th division coincides best with the main scale division if you have a confusion between two readings go for the least reading for example if 40 and 20 both are coinciding you will consider 20 with the same adjustment where we can see our slit from this side we have taken the reading on the left side we will be also taking the reading of the right side in the same adjustment this is our observation table for angle of prism now for the first phase we will be noting down the readings for vernier 1 and vernier 2. You can also say left vernier and right vernier. Now for vernier 1 we have 198.5 as you see in the main scale reading. Vernier scale reading was almost 20. So total reading will be 198.5 plus 20 into 1 by 120 where 1 by 120 is the least count. of vernier caliper now similarly now similarly for the second vernier we have main scale reading 280 vernier scale 14 and total reading as 280 plus 14 by 120 to find out the least count of vernier caliper we have it is written on top of the vernier that the least count is 30 seconds this symbol means seconds so 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes this implies 1 minute is equal to 1 by 60 degrees so 30 seconds is equal to 30 by 60 into 60 degrees so least count of vernier caliper is equal to 1 by 120 degrees we have completed the set of readings when our eyepiece was on this side of spectrometer now we will start moving our spectrometer to the other side till the point where we observe our slit clearly so we can get the readings for reflection from the second phase we have already completed for the first phase now we go for the readings for the first phase repeating the same procedure we will be taking the readings for the left side and right side and by subtracting the two we will get the angle of prism As we noted down the readings for the first phase, we note down the readings for the second phase. Here we have MSR and VSR for V1 caliper and MSR and VSR for V2 caliper. Now from this total readings, we have difference theta is equal to A minus B that is A and this B, A minus B. By dividing this by 2, we get our angle of prism. And similarly for caliper 2, we will go for the same procedure. As explained clearly, first we kept our prism. Then we moved our spectrometer to this side. We took the readings for both the sides. We moved our spectrometer to the next side. We took the readings for both sides and we got angle of prism. Now we will repeat the procedure. By shifting the position of prism and taking the readings three times for both the faces and noting down left and right sides. Now we will be moving to the second part of the experiment where we will start first by observing our slit directly from our eyepiece without keeping the prism in the position. In the direct position, when we can clearly see a slit here from the eyepiece, we will be taking the readings of the left side and right side 
of MSR, VSR. So, for the left scale, we will be noting out noting down the main scale reading and one year scale reading. Similarly, for the right side, we will be noting out main scale reading and one year scale reading. Now, to begin with, to find out the angle of minimum deviation, we will place our prism in a position where opaque side is facing to this side and the two transparent sides, one is facing our collimator and the other transparent side is facing our eyepiece so that the incident light falls on one side and gets refracted and comes out from the other side. Now, we will start moving our eyepiece to one side and stop at a point where we will be able to observe our slit clearly. At that position, we will be noting down the left side and right side readings for main scale reading and one year scale reading. Now the direct readings for V1 will be noted down here in the direct column under V1 and for V2 the direct readings will be noted down here. Similarly for minimum deviation the V1 readings will be noted down here and V2 readings that is our right side one year caliper readings will be noted down here. After noting down these two, we will subtract this from this and we get the difference that is our angle of minimum deviation. By changing the position of the prism, we take one more reading for minimum deviation and hence we have here four, uh, four observations for our delta m. By taking the mean, we will get our angle of minimum deviation. By using the given formula and substituting angle of prism, and the calculated angle of minimum deviation, we get a refractive index for the prism.